Welcome to week five of the Havoc Pack Battle League pre-battle matchups. We got two three and one teams going at it. We have two two and two teams going at it. And these two are going to be the game of the week. So I can't decide which one's which because both of them have a lot at stake here. But you're here watching week five of the Havoc Pack Battle League. We in the four or five stuff in traffic. But everybody's out their cars watching Havoc. For some reason my file got deleted for all this stuff. So I'm going to say to talk about it. Maybe I forgot to record it. Maybe I forgot to save it. I don't know what happened. But let's get on to it. The pictures did Save. Let's go from there. So we got the Chicago Chestnuts and Pokey X featuring the Cleveland Haunters and Tony KGB both sitting at a three and uno record. Tony KGB is on top of the Kanto division, while Pokey X is sitting behind Pokey Han in the Joker division. A win for both of them means that Tony KGB will be one step ahead in that Kanto division, and a win for Pokey X means they'll be one step closer to chasing Pokey Han's tail of winning that Joker division. Now, the question I have here is, I know Pokey X, I say luck, 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 but they're the most surprising team so far to be sitting at this 3-1 record. If the playoffs were to start today, they'll be the first ones to clinch that bubble spot with a chance between Mike's PokeTube and Cass, but let's not talk about that. Let's talk about, let's, I give all congratulations to what Pokey X have done so far, but how many points can Pokey X score in this game is probably going to be what I'm going to worry about here. Um... Technically, Pokey X do need to win because Pokey Han is gonna if if Pokey X lose, Pokey Han wins and Mike Pokey Tube wins, that's gonna be bad for Pokey X because they're gonna take a step back. And now Mike's Pokey Tube have looked really good if they can pull out three wins in a row. So Tony KGB he'll be fine, especially if Cass loses, he still be a top of that division. So I'm gonna go for Pokey X to get the win here because his win this a win for him is more important then a win for Tony KGB. Tony can, Tony KGB can still lose and Cass can lose and Tony KGB will still be leading that division. And if you lead the division, you're in. No matter what record you're in, you can have you can lose here on out. As long as everyone else loses on out, you still win the division. So I think this win is more important to Pokey X because he needs to catch up to Pokey Hom for a chance to win the division and get it that way and not have to fate on the wild card spot to get in that way. So I got Pokey X to win this. Since this is Fates Collide this week, let's say uh 8-6. Let's go 8-6 Pokey X. Our next match is probably the second part of Game of the Week here because both of these two have the same record in the Kobe Teenies with Cast the Nerd and the Montreal Pikachus in Mike's Pokey 2. Now, this game, for those who are wondering, is Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 7 a.m. Pacific Time, Friday. So, because both of these two are tied, this win, I think, uh... Now, I know Pokex is a Tony KGB is game of the week, but this game is very important too. The winner of this game could possibly determine the fourth spot. Why do I have three fingers? A uh, four, fourth spot. That last spot in the bubble, because both of them were at a two to two record. This will make one person that much closer. And both of these two have this. If both of these two have the same record and fighting for that last bubble spot, the winner of this game will most will be the one to determine who's going to move on, open those elite four packs. And who's going to be watching on YouTube, watching that other person open the Elite Four pack. So this is a very important game right here. With that being said, the Fates Collide. With that being said, it's Week 5. With that being said, it's Fates Collide and Week 5. Uh, now, who do I think is going to win here? Um, Cass has had a good showing. Mike's, I know Mike's packs are all from booster packs. And pulling that secret where and all the points he's pulled so far out of Fates leads me less to believe that there's any good cards left for him to pull. But I'm keeping faith alive because I'm not going to cause an early prediction saying Mike's Pokey 2 is going to win it all and just give up on him right here and right now. So, with that being said, between the two, Mike's Pokey 2 is going to win this. I think he's going to win this 5-3, to three, I believe. 5-3. to three. And I'm not saying hey, Cass could pull out on the major street. Like, the thing about Cass is I never know about Cass. Cass will come out of nowhere when he wants to. But Cass could take a loss here and still be, and if Tony KGB loses, still be a game behind Tony KGB. But if Tony KGB wins and Cass loses, I think this will hurt him more. But I think Mike needs to win more here because he has two people to chase. So I'm going with Mike's Poke 2, 5 to 3. Next up we have gotta pull them all with the Austin Arcanines and don't fight ducks with the Saffron Psyducks. Like I said before, that just rhymes so perfectly. And this is at Saturday at 9 a.m. Eastern Time, 6 a.m. Pacific Time. So 
Keep your watch tuned. Set it on your calendars. Set it on your eye calendars. I don't care what you set on. Make sure you have it for this match. Because this is going to be the match that Aaron wins. He's going to win this match. Guaranteed. I'm like Joe Namath here. Guaranteed. He's going to win the match. He's going to win this right here. I don't know about how many points, but he's going to win the match. Right, it's going to be a close one. I can tell you that one. It's going to be close. It's going to be out by a point. But I think Aaron's going to get a competitive pick. I'm going to call both statements here. Because why? There's nothing else that. I'm, I can't, it doesn't hurt. Aaron's going to win probably. Six to five because Faith Collide off a competitive pick that Aaron picked. It's gonna be the competitive pick that's gonna determine the match. That's that's how I'm gonna say. It. That's gonna go. Aaron's gonna win this match. He is. He's gonna get one on the board. This is it. This is weak. And I love Gotta Pull Them All. So I hate to do it against Gotta Pull Them All, but this is the week. This is the week Aaron's gonna win the match. Aaron, he's winning right here, right now. Yes, right here. And last but not least, we have the undefeated Pokehan and the Sioux Fall B drills versus the Hollow Ponyta and the LA Rapid Dashes. There's a there's a lot to say about this match because Pokehan is four and zero. Hollow Ponyta have lost their last three games, and the question is here because the timer is on Pokehan now. Pokehan is the closest one of securing a playoff spot. A loss here would not help his chances of securing that playoff spot. Said I gotta go against the home team here because how good Pokehan has been doing. But if I think anyone's gonna cause an upset here to Pokehan, I think it's gonna be Hollow Pony Talk. That's right, you're gonna hear it here. Upset. I'm calling an upset. Hollow Pony Talk is gonna win this match. I, I, I hope those packs from Frankensons, I hope the good stuff's in there. I do hope, and I hope they ain't rip her off. So I hope the good stuff's in there. The good stuff's in there, I believe she's gonna win this match. Um, I, most likely she'll, she's going to choose her competitive pick. It's going to be a good one. Uh, at this point, I don't even know who to choose at this point. But I, I call an upset here. I call an upset. Hollow Pony is going to win. And this win, she needs this win more than, than Poke Honda. They actually both need the win, but Hollow Pony needs to win a lot more. This win ain't going to hurt. This loss ain't going to hurt Poke Honda. But this win will help Hollow Pony get Karn back up to the top of that Elite Four bracket in that cancel division. So. I'm calling Hollow Pony Talk upset here. Upset. Let's go. Ah. Let's go. Uh, six to four. Six to four. That's the upset. Six to four. So that's Neil from the Cool Pokey Players. You guys all have a great day and thank you for watching.